Country icon Kenny Rogers lived quite the incredible life and he knew how to live it well. The renowned country singer, actor, and author resided in a series of opulent properties that were truly fit for real life music royalty. Rogers catapulted to fame with a remarkable string of country, adult, contemporary, and pop hits spanning the 70s, 80s, and even the 90s, including classics like Lucille, The Gambler, and groundbreaking 1981 collab with Dolly Parton titled Islands in the Street. This collab was a pivotal moment, propelling both artist from country success to mainstream superstardom. Before his passing in 2020, Kenny had lived in a handful of beautiful mansions across the USA, notably in Atlanta, Georgia, and Bel Air in California. In fact, one of Kenny's former palatial estates in Atlanta made headlines in 2019 after it became known as a party house, and it was abandoned for quite some time. His most recent home was also in the upscale area of Buckhead, Atlanta, and this one he put on the market get for just under $4.5 million in 2019. This nearly 7,000 square foot six bedroom mansion boasted highlights like a stunning two story entryway and sweeping staircase, a great room with 20 foot ceiling and much more. Kenny Rogers, born on August 21st, 1938 in Houston, Texas, was an iconic American singer, songwriter, actor, and record producer. His early life was shaped by humble beginnings and a passion for music that would eventually make him a country and pop music legend. Growing up in a poor neighborhood in Houston, young Kenny was interested in music early on. Raised in a large family, he was the fourth of eight children. Parents, Edward and Lucille Rogers, worked hard to provide for the family, instilling in Kenny a strong work ethic that would stay with him throughout his life. In his early teens, Rogers formed a doo-wop group called The Scholars, marking the beginning of his musical journey. Despite facing financial challenges, he managed to buy himself a guitar, which became his gateway to the world of country and folk music. Before reaching stardom, Rogers experienced a series of career ups and downs, navigating different musical styles and groups. However, his breakthrough came with the formation of the first edition, a rock and roll group that achieved success with hits like Just Dropped In to see what condition my condition was in. This marked the beginning of his transition into the country genre, setting the stage for his solo career. In terms of family, Kenny had a colorful personal life with multiple marriages. He was married five times and had five children. His relationships brought joy, challenges, and lessons. Kenny Rogers passed away from natural causes on March 20th, 2020 at the age of 81. Tributes from friends, fans, and colleagues followed and many of them commented on his sense of fun and zest for life. This can be seen in the multiple opulent residences that Rogers owned over the years from Atlanta to Los Angeles. And well, the photos of these homes show a man who certainly had a taste for the finer things. What seems to be one of the last mansions that the late Kenny Rogers lived in was a stunning estate in Buckhead, Atlanta. This estate boasted six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a generous 6,991 square feet. Kenny's Atlanta residence showcased remarkable features like a striking two-story entryway and a grand staircase leading to formal living and dining rooms. The expansive eating kitchen had booth seating, and there was nearby a great room adorned with a 20-foot ceiling. This luxury home encompasses a sprawling upstairs master suite complete with a fireplace, separate sitting rooms, Room, opulent bathroom, and an extensive walk-in closet. Additional amenities include guest suites, a screening room, a full-size bar, a games room, and more. Residents exude a lavish ambiance with ornate arched doors, oversized windows throughout, and exquisite trim. There are also detailed light fixtures, chandeliers, and epic ceilings. As you'll be able to see from Kenny's other properties, the country star loved opulent and glitzy furnishings like the ones present here. In 2019, Rogers listed this regal home for $4.495 million. Kenny Rogers had an affinity for luxurious living, which we can also see in his opulent mansion dubbed Lions, located in Bel Air, California. This 11 bedroom, 17 bathroom estate sprawls across just under 24,000 square feet on 1.63 acres of prime LA real estate, and it's considered one of the most expensive. The interior features a master suite exceeding 3,000 square feet alone, three distinct living rooms, seven fire places, billiards room, formal study, and a private 12-seat theater with leather seats. 
Additional highlights include a climate control wine room leading to a saltwater pool, three steam showers, and a spacious dry sauna. An outdoor glass elevator connects to a sizable ballroom, a guest suite, and a professional sized gym, offering breathtaking treetop garden views from every room. There are also glimpses of Century City in downtown Los Angeles. Outside, the lavishness continues with heated floors and a fully equipped bar in the outdoor living area, a tennis court featuring stadium lighting and a viewing area, a hot tub, and extensive landscaping. Recognized by Realtor.com as the most prestigious luxury estate in Bel Air, Lionsgate boasts arguably the best views in Los Angeles. Purchased by Rogers in the 1970s, he added lions to the gate understandably naming it Lionsgate. After selling it in 1983 for $5.8 million, the property changed hands again in 2015, fetching a staggering $46.25 million. In 2023, it was reported that the one-time mansion of Atlanta resident Kenny Rogers was up for sale at $3.95 million, a property that in recent years was notably abandoned. The residence, which does appear to be abandoned, gained widespread attention in recent years when it earned a reputation as a party house. In 2019, the Atlanta police field a minimum of 100 complaints related to this property. In response to this, Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms proposed legislative changes to modify the city's 1982 zoning ordinance. These amendments aim to establish regulations for hosting large-scale commercial events on residential properties. This mansion was also used in a handful of music videos, including the one for Ric Flair Drip. Back in 2006, Rogers sold the mansion for $8.5 million to Arienka Yinka Adesukan and Dr. Paula Nelson. However, these new owners faced legal issues as they were later fined for double billing patients of family dermatology. They eventually left the United States. The property was listed on the market again in December 2020 with an asking price of $6.8 million. And the current seller is seeking someone who can restore the estate to its full glory, as mentioned in the listing. While it might look a little sad at the moment, Rogers' one-time estate spans a whopping 22,607 square feet of space and sits on a gated five-acre lot in the upscale Buckhead neighborhood of Atlanta. The essence of the mansion still keeps its majestic feel as you can imagine just how the place looked while it was maintained. Walking in, there is a colossal foyer with fireside living area, while six beds, seven full baths, and five half baths provide more than enough accommodation. There are also grand spaces like a formal dining room, living room with coffered ceiling, and kitchen with full suite of fancy appliances. The master suite here reveals a vaulted ceiling as well as fireplace and attached ensuite with its very own fireplace too. Upstairs, three additional bedrooms, each feature attached private bathrooms, and a home gym with sauna provides an additional perk. The house boasts a full basement with a spacious bar area for entertaining, multiple living spaces, a theater room, a ballroom, rec bonus rooms, and a guest suite with yet another private bath. The house's listing emphasizes the allure of the backyard oasis, showcasing a large stone patio with views of the in-ground pool and spa. A gazebo with its own bar enhances the outdoor entertaining space, completing the grandeur of this abandoned yet extraordinary property. As we can see from the late Kenny Rogers' former properties, each tells a chapter of a man who lived life with the same passion that he put into his music. From the opulence of Lions Eaton Bel Air to his various other estates, the legend of Kenny Rogers lives on, not only through the songs that defined an era, but also within the walls of the lavish estates that once housed a true icon. While this concludes our Kenny Rogers house tour, before we go, answer this question for me. Would you be brave enough to spend the night in an abandoned mansion? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. 
There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.